Hello and welcome to Frank's School, uh, 21st day of the third year. Um, the next video you're going to see, uh, you'll see Shirley, and well, you don't see me, but and a dog, hiking down uh, Ufalon, which is the mountain stream uh, that 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 re returns us down to the car. Uh, it was pleasant to have a dog uh, for company. Uh, you'll you'll see he shows up. He showed up as a surprise. I don't know if you realize, but from what I say in the video, that I was standing right at the edge of a cliff, almost, and this big black dog came up behind me uh, quietly and was suddenly there. But it was he was so pleasant. Um, before I get on, though, uh, I continue to think of this film footage as so spectacular. N not my work. I mean, I was just doing the best I could with my camera and my talking. And there was a wind now coming down with Falon. But what I was filming, I, you know, I, I guess I shouldn't just go on and on about it, but uh, I, find, I continue to think of it as spectacular. Um, it, it was nice that, in a way, that there were no people. Uh, on the way down, the whole way down, Shirley and I saw nobody else, not another person on that hike. On the way up there had been one family. Now I think it was because this was a Monday. Uh, this was a Monday and it was not yet the tourist season. It was just before the tourist season. I, I hope that more people go there. Uh, well, a word about uh, decentralization. It, it occurred to me as I was watching my own video before I did this that what they had done there, when I talk about the bis at the top of Upicon, what they did was they took the water that was coming down Ufalon and they split it so that some of it was diverted over to Picon, and then Picon is actually not a natural waterfall. Falon is. Uh, they did that and then I imagine it was a way, well, it's probably a way of serving the community on that side of the ridge uh, better. I'm sure that was the case. But it was also a case of decentralization. They took the, wa the available water power and instead of gathering it together to make one really big powerful uh, uh, source of power turbine, they split it apart and kept it, made it even smaller. Uh, they decentralized the stream. Um, well, I wrote a, a long essay called The Decentralist Manifesto, which I will eventually put on my blog, I think. I intend to. Um, it's political in nature uh, and revolutionary in nature. So this word decentral, decentralism, decentralization, it means a lot to me. But anyway, as I was just saying, this is uh, versus the centralization of a penstock. Now, a penstock, I've mentioned that on this, uh, on this video, uh, on, in this course, on this trip earlier, because a few times I saw them. A penstock is a very big, very strong steel pipe that, that get, and, and water from in the mountains is gathered into that pipe, and then it's kept under tremendous pressure by the time that pipe gets to the bottom. And it drives usually a Pelton wheel, uh, a big wheel which spins extremely fast. It's a very efficient way to generate electricity. Uh, but the point of it is to gather the power into one spot and then make a city or, or whatever dependent upon it. Then you, you spread it out as you want, but first you gather it. Uh, that, that's why I say that that's an example of penstock. And in the in the wherever that has been done, especially in Switzerland, for example, it was the end of, of whole systems of bisses because they took the water in small amounts and spread it out. Whereas a penstock usually is accompanied by a dam. Well, all, I think always is. Uh, and and uh, so yeah, I don't want to harp on this now, but but uh, it occurred to me that here was a good example of decentralization that was not destroyed by a penstock. They could have, uh, I mean, they could have done that at that waterworks below. You know, they could have gone up and gathered all that water, put it in a penstock, and you wouldn't have had all these tiny little mills. You would have had one 
really big mill at the bottom. Uh, well, when we get to the bottom, um, uh, I, I say, oh, there's a, there's a place called uh, Muinos do Falon. <laughs> well, I was reading the street sign, or a sign on the side of the building. I wondered, why did I say that? The, the name of the place is Camino do Falon. Uh, Camino means path. Uh, Muinos means mills. Um, and uh, I thought, why did I say that? I can read. Well, uh, the, uh, it's because I was reading that sign. I looked closer. Uh, the place that uh, I said, we're going to go in there and have a beer at the end. Well, it's named this, <clears throat> and it's a bod uh, bodegon. Uh, that tickled me, because when I lived in Brazil, a bodega, from Portuguese, Brazilian Portuguese, I know a bodega is like a little tiny store where you buy just the things that you absolutely need, like flour, coffee, sugar, not too much more than that. Uh, bread. Uh, <clears throat> well, this is a bodegon. Gon means big. Uh, so, at least in, in Portuguese or Spanish, it would be, that's a big bodega. Well, we went in there, and it wasn't really big. It was really sort of more like a bar. If we had had more time, uh, and in retrospect, I almost wish that I had sat down and talked to some men that were there. But we didn't. Uh, <clears throat> however, I'm thinking about trying to find some way to contact that, uh, that enterprise and let them know that I have filmed this and I have put uh, the next video online just so uh, other people could, uh, could see it. And the word of promotion comes to mind. Uh, I am not a promoter. I don't even know how to begin to be a promoter. But different, on different occasions I've seen things that I thought it, th these things probably should be promoted. People should know about these things. Uh, I don't know what I'll do about that. I don't know if I can bring myself to turn to promotion, but even my own course, uh, my school, I think is worthy of promotion, but I, I just don't, I'm not very good at that. But anyway, I, I may do what I can to promote uh, uh, these, uh, these two uh, trails, uh, Piquan and Folon, because I think they are very special. Um, tomorrow, or the next time, uh, you'll see Shirley's view of that hike. Bye for now.